All right, YouTubers. Here's where we're at on the bumper, uh, the old wrecker. Cut the bad piece out, and it was pretty crapped out, as you can see. Uh, pretty deep pits. You don't think uh, that salt in the rust belt tears up stuff? You know, there's pits there that are, I don't know, 3 16ths of an inch deep. And you probably take a chipping hammer and bust holes in it. So, cut it out and cut this piece out. And it'll weld in there. You'll grind it off and it'll be great. Now, if you look on the edge of this piece, I beveled it all the way around. Same thing with the hole. Okay, put a bevel on it. That way when you weld that, and you, this is not for you professional welders. I understand you guys all know this, but guys, it, uh, this goes for body work too. Um, you know, if you just flush weld that, just butt weld it, and then grind all your weld off, well, hell, there aren't nothing holding it on. I see guys do it, and it'll stay, but under stress situation, you've got no meat there. So uh, you take that bevel and then multiply it with this bevel, and you've got a halfway decent little bead of weld sitting in there holding your plate in. So not only are you filling a hole, but the old thing's still pretty tough. So if you ram it into something or, you know, whatever, hook a chain to the bumper, you're not going to pull a chunk out of it. Um, so that's uh, kind of a semi-pro tip. A uh, pro welder already knows all this, but uh, guys that are learning this stuff, and uh, I, if I can help you, I will. So there's how you do that, and uh, works every time. You grind it off flush, and you don't have to worry about it falling off or cracking right around the weld. I've seen that more than once. So, all right, have a good day.